I would consider myself an influencer, not a mini influencer. A mini influencer to me is what real estate agents need to be. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to give you some extremely practical advice on how to build your business and keep up with the trends of digital and technology moving forward. The world is moving at such a high pace now and we gotta keep up with the times. We don't wanna get left behind, okay? So we have to understand where the world is going, where people want to be, how we need to approach people, how where we need to be to build our brand. And that's what I wanna talk about. Personal Personal branding and the fact that every single one of you should be thinking of yourself in terms of an influencer okay think of yourself as an influencer and what I want to call this is that you are a mini influencer okay as a real estate agent as a salesperson in the car industry as an insurance agent as a travel agent as a, a doctor or a lawyer whatever the case may be you want to be a mini influencer okay here's what I mean Okay, if you're an influencer in general, if you're just an influencer, okay, you may be trying to build a global brand. Okay, like myself in the real estate coaching world, okay, in the entrepreneur world, all right, I wanna influence people in a very positive way globally. All right, I have people all over the world from many different countries following what I'm saying and building relationships over transactions, building their businesses in a positive way and helping people the right way. And this is very humbling for me to do, but I would consider myself an influencer, not a mini influencer. A mini influencer to me is what real estate agents need to be. Okay, and that means that we're a micro influencer in our own markets, our local markets. Okay, and what that translates to us is that we don't need to be worried about views, number of views, number of likes, number of followers. Okay, let's take Joe Rosen, for example, down in Port St. Lucie. He has very little views, but if he goes out to a restaurant, everybody knows who he is, why? Because it's such a localized market. Okay, you're comparing yourself to big influencers saying, oh, I don't have a thousand likes, I don't have 10,000 views per video, so I must not be getting anywhere close to where I need to be on these social platforms, but that's not the case. Okay, very little views means a whole lot in a concentrated area. Okay, and so moving forward, I want you to be thanking personal brand, which is what I did with my weekly email and continue to do and continue to teach you to do is a weekly email on the same day of the week forever. I've been doing mine since 2007. It's literally how I built my brand. Okay, and it's literally how I became an influencer. I didn't know all these terms when I started doing this, but it's literally what I, what I was doing and is why I'm where I'm at. Now I understand this on a much grander level, seeing as how I got into the coaching industry and I've started to build my brand there on social media, okay, as well as email and every other platform there is out there. So I want you to think of yourself moving forward as an influencer now. Let's talk about that for a second, being an influencer. What does it mean? It means that a certain amount of people, okay, know who you are and see your content consistently, okay? They see original content from you on a consistent basis, okay, forever, okay? That's continuing to build your brand with the people who know you, all right? And then the goal is, is to get more people into your following, your email database, your Instagrams, your Facebook, listening to your podcasts, watching your YouTubes, whatever platform you decide, okay, which I believe the best two platforms are emails and text. Email platform, text platform, okay? And then all the supplemental platforms, all the social medias, okay? I think those are secondary, but very valuable and necessary. You need to have all of those combined to really make a huge impact and to really build that influential status in your market. Now, if you think of building your business moving forward as you being an influencer in your local market, okay, it tends to give you a different vision, okay, a different point of view of what your goals really are, all right? The goal is, is to let as many people as possible know who you are and how you operate. That you're honest, caring, hardworking, dependable, professional, you're everything that they want in an agent, okay? But we have to let a certain amount of people know that. 
if they don't know about you, if they don't know who you are, number one, and then secondly, if they don't know what you're about, then they're never gonna do business with you. Okay, so our job from this point moving forward is to initiate contact with as many new people that don't know who we are as possible, let them know who we are, and then put them into our little personal branding machine, okay, of pumping that consistent original content to them forever. Okay, so we do that through email, we do that through text, we do that through social media, all right? But we need to get them into our personal branding machine all right, and then we want to talk to more people and get them in there. More, 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 more. As many people as we can possibly get to. We will never get to all the people in our market. Therefore, our job and our task at hand is an unlimited abyss. Okay, it's an ocean. You can't get to it all. And when we think about that on that micro level, that mini influencer level, think about what I'm trying to do with just being a general influencer, okay? To influence people around the world, all right? And when we think about the unlimitedness of just the mini influencer, the micro influencer of just a local market, think about how massive it is to be just a general influencer trying to influence people around the world. It's, it's insanely unlimited and massive. So I hope this gives you a different look, a different point of view of maybe how you need to be building your business or what your objectives really are, or what your goals should be. Okay, and I'm gonna start pumping out more content around being an influencer and the little things that really matter and different little hacks that I find along the way. I'm gonna share those with you. So if you haven't clicked subscribe, do that now. Click that like button. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.